Hey guys, welcome back to my shop, um, which is still undergoing its renovations and its cleanup, but it's getting back to a place where I can do some work. So, my next project is a friend of mine brought this plane back for me, um, and it's in pretty rough shape, but overall, it's I think it's a plane that's very restorable. Um, the, the wedge, I'm going to try to glue it, but it's broken in half. I'm going to try to glue it so I can keep the original. If that doesn't work, then I'll probably have to make a new wedge, so that'll be interesting. The iron, iron and chip breaker are in pretty rough shape. Um, it's pretty rusted, pretty banged up on, but it's a nice thick iron, so I will be cleaning this up, trying to like get it back to working order. The uh, cap iron or chip breaker or whatever is again pretty rusted, but should be able to clean this one up as well. Um, this handle came off but it's in really good shape the handle itself is in really good shape so this I'll just be able to clean off and uh, get back to work in order the plane itself this is interesting because it has some checking in the back and some down here and a little bit of checking in the front so I'm gonna start by probably cleaning it planing it getting it back to a square piece, um, cleaning the inside. Can't do too much with the inside because everything's got to fit tightly, so this is going to be an interesting notion. The, the, uh, the mouth, the throat, is really big, and it makes for a really rough um, jointer plane. So what I'm thinking of doing is once I plane this down nice and flat, even though it's relatively flat, if I can plane it down nice and flat perfectly, I'm thinking of maybe adding a piece of really hard wood down here, really hard wearing wood. Um, and I'll see what I have in my bin and probably use something from there. But if I can add about, I don't know, maybe an eighth or a quarter of an inch depending, and then chop through it, that'll close the, the, the throat down enough to where I think it'll make for a better plane. Let's get to restoring. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this piece, I have this uh, piece of maple and I'm gonna glue it onto here. I'm gonna use my vise as a clamp. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this piece right here and then I have these two little shims down at the bottom that will rest on the, the bars of the, the vise so that when I put this on here it will raise it up just a little bit so it so that there's a little bit of space down here between this and the plane so let's do that Okay, so now that I have this uh, 
plain down. So I added a, a piece of maple down at the, on the bottom of it, I glued it on, and I've planed it flat, nice and smooth and straight. I've also planed the sides and the top, got it all squared off. Uh, I'm going to take it to the chop saw and cut off a little bit off of the front and the back. I'm going to try to take off as the least amount of edge as I can. So let me, let me bring the camera in for a closer look so you can see the uh, checking on the sides. As you can see, these checks are pretty deep. This one actually runs all the way down the side. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a little epoxy down them. So another thing I need to do is glue this piece, the wedge piece, back together so that once I glue it, I can clean it up, sand it. Um, it's got some issues with it, but I'm gonna try to save the original wedge uh, if I can. If not, we'll end up making a new one, but let's try gluing it first. Blue spreader is built in. So we'll let that dry. So while things are drying, um, I thought we would start working on the iron and chip breaker itself. I still have to de-rust it, and once I de-rust it, I will be polishing it and uh, seeing how bad it really is. But one thing that's been bugging me is the chip breaker part of it seems to be just a hairline wider. Like, it's not even that small. It's probably like a good 32nd, maybe 64th inch wider than the blade. And so when I start to put it into the plane, I feel like this is catching the plane. The side is thicker than the plane hole it is, the whole, the whole throat is. So what I want to do is I want to try to sand it down flush, like I got one side flush, and I'm going to sand down the other side flush just here to, uh, to, to fix that problem. Now one thing I do want to do for this is wear some gloves because the blade is sharp and there's rust and all kinds of weird stuff on it so these are my beat up gloves. So now the, the iron and the chip breaker are flush, so when I put it in the plane it should go in perfectly. Next I'm going to put it into a rust removal bath and start working on the plane. I mean, I got
Okay, so now that I have cut out the throat, um, what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to chamfer all the edges. I've chamfered the edges here so you can see, um, but I'm going to ch chamfer every corner so that they're not sharp. I'm just going to use a block plane to do it. So while I was working on the plane, I noticed that the uh, strike button was getting really dry and damaged and uh, I, you saw in the, in the little video that it just basically broke apart. So I made a new button, went over to the lathe and I got this uh, nice piece of um, white oak and I made it into a button shape which I will be putting in here. Um, I cleaned up the the handle to a point. It's not perfectly clean, but um, it's clean to where I want it. You know, once I oil everything, uh, so that's fitting in there nice. The wear button will be there. I cleaned up the blade and chip breaker as much as I could. I got the parts that are important clean, anyways. But uh, I removed most of the rust. And hopefully that will work out for a while at least. If I find that I need to do any more later on, I'll do that too. Um, the wedge glued up nicely. The seam is nice. Um, it seems strong enough, so I'm going to use it for a while. Unless it breaks. If it breaks, it breaks. But I'll make another one. But for now, I'm going to use the original. Still fits in perfectly, which is good. I cleaned up in here. Um, to make sure that everything was working fine. You, know, you saw that I added the bottom. Piece of a new bottom. And I made the throat out. So that should work. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to glue this on and this. Let that sit for a while. Then give it like a final slight light sanding. And then maybe uh, stain it and, and uh, put a coat of oil maybe some shellac on it just to protect it a little bit but uh, let's glue this in this is fun part
Okay. Well, now that things have dried a bit, um, I think it's ready for a coat of oil to see how it looks. Before I do that, I'm going to start with the little wedge. Wow, it was very thirsty. It soaked up all that oil that I just pulled up on the top. That's awesome. Okay, so now that the, the oil has had a little bit of time to dry and soak in, I uh, sharpened the iron and I've put it in and I've uh, got it pretty parallel, I think. And uh, I think it looks great. It turned out really nice. It should be a good working plane. So. Let's test it. Ooh. That's a really nice shaving. It's a little, it's thick, but let's uh, see if we can adjust that a little bit so it's not so thick. thick. Seems to be working perfectly. Um, great shavings. It's leaving it nice and smooth. It's flat. We'll see how long um, the maple bottom lasts. Never actually used maple for the bottom, but it's a hard wood, so it should be okay. Well, there you have it. Stay tuned after the video for some pictures that I took of it. And, uh, I would just like to give a shout out and a thank you to Adam Collins. Uh, I'll put a link to his channel right here or it'll be in the cards. But uh, he mentioned me in one of his channels, in one of his videos on his channel uh, about my tool restorations and it, it was just really a good cool thing to do and um, he actually sort of got me back into doing restorations. I had been doing a lot of cleanup and uh, I hadn't done a restoration in a while so uh, thank you for the shout out. and. I guess I'll see everybody in the next video. Please like, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and uh, share it. Um, I love it when people share my stuff because uh, the more people I can reach, the better. Um, well, I hope you enjoyed the build, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.